Hello, hello. Should I say good afternoon? Actually, let me see how much is my ball damage. Also, oh, it's still bad. I was thinking that they fixed it because the previous run didn't show like nightfall damages. Yeah, this is the bug nightfall damage. It's not the normal one. <laughs> Not my favorite boss, though. That better. I feel the BGM is a bit loud. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know. I think they just probably fix some bugs that we don't know. Cause usually, like updates only happen in the start of each month. So those patches will be like small bug fixes that we don't necessarily know like what stuff they fix because ED is very lazy. They don't even post like what they fix. Really? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll go check that later. Hopefully, yes. Let me just open this box before going back to Relatus. <laughs> I 
Do they see that in the passions? Or Because I don't see anything about the epic costume thingy being updated. More likely they just fixed some of their systems. Yeah, they, they didn't add the epic costume back. No, they didn't. They didn't put any epic costume in Crystal Shop. If they do that, I think they will put post an announcement or at least a notice about it. Give me piercing spike helmet or lava raid helmet, please. Piercing spike or lava raid. Piercing spike or lava raid. Okay. Actually, this is probably a good comment for Gear Master, but I don't play lollies. So, not like I will use it anyways. What just happened now looks like an old bot bug thingy. That happened a few patches ago. It's probably just imagination, I guess. Yeah. Don't know what happened there. Uh I don't buy cloister bundles. But most people, I think, buy it for like 40k or 30k. I actually forgot. I, did, I don't buy cloister bundles. All my cloister bundles are from the Ghost of Box. I won't buy them anyway since I can't even finish the ones that are on me. Like, I mean, the normal maps, not even the. She go that way. Piercing spike or lava raid. Piercing spike or lava raid. What the fuck is this? Okay. Hello, hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that is that a lot? Actually, actually, no. 
you, you need a lot of gold to enhance the run out though. So it's kind of normal. And also to enhance the ancient equipment if you don't farm jelly. I don't really have that, that much time to farm jelly, so I just use the gold I have. Uh, if you're an Abyss Walker, I will suggest you probably focus on Goddess equipment. Cause you see, I don't even use God. Uh, I don't even use Skeeta on, on my Abyss Walker, and I'm performing pretty well in BDN. Like my DPS is n not bad for a DPS. Can see that I'm just using the Spirit Battle gear. And then I use the salamander helmet and salamander shoes. So I think you don't really need Skila, cause enhancing like enhancing like only like one piece of Skila up two plus ten is pretty expensive already. And you remember it cost me around like mm, at least six hundred K to make it two plus eight. And then it's a disaster after plus 8, because plus 8 to plus 10 is very, very hard. Some people might spend like, I don't know, 1 million and probably don't even reach plus 10. Because the rate for plus 8 to plus 10 is pretty low, I guess. Uh, whether goddess skills are more important than skill depends on your class. For classes like Abyss Walker, where Illusion Strike, their main skill, Deals over like 40% of the damage. I will say it's pretty important. But for classes such as Impactor, which have like ill action that's not really the source of their skill, and ill action is already their best skill already, it actually deals like around 10% DPS. For Impactor, the goddess equipment's not really that important. But for Abyss Walker and Wind Walker, and also some other classes like uh, Majesty, where they have like one certain skill that deals a lot of damage, then Goddess is important. I will say for Abyss Walker, she's like basically unplayable if you don't have the Goddess equipment, just because like how OP the equipment is. Yeah. For you to play Abyss Walker properly, you need the Salamander Shoe and the Helmet, because it's too important. For like other classes such as um, other assassin classes such as Ripper, Raven, and BP, the Goddess equipment aren't that important. And for BP, although uh, you can say that Lethal Torture and Pass Away and also Madness can do a lot of damage, but uh, since you can also spread the skills around a lot, and I I think BP's main DPS skill on Dragon Sage are, is actually Shadow Overdrive, so it's not as significant as Abyss Walker since BP's skill detail doesn't even go over twenty percent. <laughs> yeah, done maintenance already. <laughs> um. If you have a lot of money, you should go f go for Skila, cause Skila is actually better. But if you don't have a lot of money, you are like kind of in a budget thing, then you should go for Spirit Battle Gear, cause if you do farm the jellies from the side quest, um, can say that Spirit Battle Gear is basically like almost free in my opinion. Yeah, it's all it's like almost free. Cause you only need to enhance it to like plus 10 and then you, it won't fall back, it won't cost you a lot of gold. And then the rate isn't as bad as Skila. <coughs> and also for, for dark element classes especially, it's uh, I will say like uh, spirit gear will be stronger because you see that we get the the lower body that adds 2.5% uh, dark attack. So that's like 2.5% more than other classes. It's also usable for um, water classes, ice attack also like 1.4% but it's not as good as dark attack. So in general they will be like similar to plus 10 skill up. But if you are able to enhance Skila over plus 10, then they will be weaker. 
And also for the gloves, some classes needed a lot. For Abbas Walker, I don't really think so, since most of his DPS is done in like the shallow form. But when you are under shallow form, usually you will want to spam Illusion Strike, and it's hard to control your glove CD with Illusion Strike. So I will say um, the gloves aren't that important for me. I I don't even use it because I don't think it's in, uh, very impactful. Uh, Manus Helmet is good. If you go check uh, Seizano's gears, he is using the Manus Helmet plus the Manus Shoe. But you need to know that if you are going for the Manus Shoe and Manus Helmet, you need to use another rotation. So it will be a bit different than your normal BP rotation, which focus on Pass Away and Lethal Torture. It will be more focused on Manus. So, so you will be doing like intense suffering to to get like one more charge of madness instead of doing lethal torture or pass away but generally the percentage of that will be very similar to lethal tortured helmet which is crap and helmet so i will say madness helmet, helmet is actually good but just you need to change your playstyle because bp bp is all about the resetting and like what skills you want to use it when uh, before reset like, uh, let me just have an example. So in my BDN team, we I have like the other two very gear BP. One is Roger Red and one is Seizano. For Roger Red, he got the Pass Away helmet, so his rotation focused on Pass Away. For Seizano, his um, helmet and shoe is Madness, so he focused more on Madness spamming. And for me, I'm using Kraken, so I focus more on the Lethal Torture spamming. So all our rotations are different, so when we pilot each other's account, we will have a very hard time because we need to change the rotation a lot. For Seizano's, he will do like two manas, then intense sufferings, reset one of the manas CD, then use manas again, then he use the other skills, and then he resets. For me, I just go lethal torture, and then I can reset if I want to, because my main DPS is lethal torture. I can I can add other skills inside too, but usually since my pin has a problem, I I like to reset on time so that even when I have like a, a reset bug happening, I will still have other skills to use. And for Roger, he's using Pass Away, so he will focus on uh, using Pass Away before resetting. That's the main difference. Uh. <laughs> for Abyss Walker, I will say only Salamander is usable. All other skills are very weak for Abyss Walker since most of his DPS is from the... Actually, most of his DPS is from either Nightfall, uh, Abyss Claw, or Illusion Strike. All the other skills are pretty weak. And the next patch, Nightfall, will probably be fixed because the current Nightfall is a bit bugged. So it, it's like dealing like extra damage. So later it will just be like Illusion Strike and the uh, and the Abyss Claw as the main DPS. Uh, no, I'm not back to Abyss Walker for main now, just because my Abyss Walker have tons of maps and I haven't finished it. So I'm using him now. You can you can just see like whether I have friendstone on on my character to know that if it's a main. If it's not a main, it, it won't even have friendstone. What? How did I tumble on time though? Okay. Or maybe I tumble a bit too early. Lava Raid or Piercing Spike. Lava Raid or Piercing Spike. Yes! Nice, ED. Nice. Give me one more Lava Raid helmet. Why am I so lucky in water so? Oh, 
I'll to use it to be CM3. And then... <laughs> yeah, recently I'm like very lucky with the goddess stuff. <laughs> like, like, really, really lucky. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> Maybe because I, I fail a lot on my skill enhancement, so if you want to make me more happy with the goddess. Like all my enhancements went like very badly. Even the even my goddess enhancements is like very very shit. Uh, I will say, like I said before, I, I think I explained it like a few minutes before. For Abyss Walker, I don't think the action speed glove will be any help. Since uh, if you do notice, most of Abyss Walker's damage came from the Summon Shadow Awakening. And then during Summon Shadow, you shouldn't be using any other skill uh, except Illusion Strike. And if you do notice, Summon Shadow CD is actually 75 seconds. And Glove CD is 60 seconds. So you notice a CD mismatch there. And this will be a problem because you couldn't cast um, the Glove CD on uh, in sync with your Summon Shadow. Most of the time your Glove effect will be wasted. Cause you will need, you will want the action speed when you ca when you are using summon shadow not not when you what the fuck when you are using summon shadow instead of like other skills. I really hate assassin with those like very very low. Rather go spirit battle gear instead of Valiant for upper and lower. Cause you see, Valiant upper and lower only give you 8% of max attack. Which if you change it to um, percentage is only like 4% attack. But just see battle gear. Battle gear have 5% just by the side effect. And if you are a dark element, it will be like another five uh, another like 5.4% from the uh, upper and the lower. If you are not dark element, it will be another 2.9%. It's it's just straight sh so much stronger than the than the whatever it is than the Valiant, But well, uh, is this game still play to win? No, I would say no. Cause you can farm most of the stuff. Easily, if you farm the proper way, and like before, before there is like certain stuff that you must, or it's like simply impossible for you to farm. Now they make it so that you, it's possible for you to at least get like one character geared enough with the with the with your gear, uh, with I mean with the free stuff. So I would say it's probably less pay to win than before, and in some cases you might even want to say that it's not pay to win anymore. Because <laughs> you see, all the stuff I use now, except the except this thing, this thing is very expensive. I mean the Skila, plus 10 Skila crew, not the Jades. The Jades are achievable by nest points. So if you farm nest points a lot, then you can get it for free. Even plus 10. You just need to farm harder. I think it takes like around like one month for you to plus 10 one jade. But um, considering like how much mo how much money you need to spend for a normal uh, the original version J2 plus 10, it's actually not that much for like one month one farming. And the other stuff basically are like can get it in a very low price, it's farmable. Uh, 
I can actually clear clear the Abyss Sunset here now, but I'm a bit lazy. I'll just clear it for you. But, but I'm I'm like really lazy because if you see like how much map I have you 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 understand why I don't do Abyss because Abyss actually takes more time to master <laughs> if you count the count the bundles I have in my account it's like probably three 3k more runs I don't even want to <laughs> do do on Abyss anymore although it's pretty fast but I'm lazy more like I, I don't want to waste like that much time on stuff. Ah, do I can I do English? Oh, what's the video game? Is it? Oh, it's Carnage. Yeah. Uh, I will say now is like much more free to play than the GDN cap, the ninety five GDN cap. But. It's not like that uh, pain doesn't give you any advantage over the free to play players, but it's just that it's not as significant as before. That's why I say it's not free to win now. <laughs> like the ancient gears are a very good example of how they made it not less pay to win, especially when. It's like it's almost like the same style of Skila, and most people can't even get over most of Skila, since it's like much cheaper to enhance ancient gears. If you don't um don't if you do farm the side quest and you do do the co-op quests, and it's like basically free. But yeah, I w I won't say that um. It's completely free to play because you can't get conversion stuff from from um, the TH anymore. So you must spend um, IT on it, which is which is pretty much pay to win. Before you can buy it from TH, if so, you, if you farm hard enough, you can you can get it. But they also have those like Epic 2.0 costumes, which are very cheap, and it's only like two percent less than the conversions. So I will say in that case, it's nicer than before. And like currently, they have a I gotcha event that gives you like full set Epic accessories, and it's actually like one percent less than the conversion version. So. I will say one person isn't a very big difference, so... You can say that they made, made it like pretty nice for the new players and also the people who play for free. Like, you can even farm gold just from just one board quest now.
Leap of faith, leap of faith, leap of faith, leap of faith. Uh, let me first answer the equipment I'm looking for. I'm looking for the leap of leap of actually not leap of faith. No, no wonder it didn't give me leap of trust shoe and helm. I got the shoe just now. I just need the helmet. And I'm also looking for uh, maybe the piercing spike helmet and shoe for uh, steam breezer. That's like the two parts I'm looking for. And maybe a, a glove for my Abbas Walker. And it's not like that I care, but well. Why not? Uh, which class are in the top? I will say currently, Abbas, for Assassin class, Abbas Walker, Ripper, and BP are all very good top DPSs. And for Warrior, it's mainly just uh, Moonlord. And for for Saucer Chris, uh, basically everything except Astral is good DPS. And for Cleric, I will say Seder went very very geared. Seder are very strong when they are very very geared because like of how much um, attack uh, Sila gives for both magic attack and physical attack. The other Clerics are pretty weak. In the current patch. Then for Archer, currently Windwalker is the strongest one because of the Goddess Helmet shoe. They have like a skill called Eagle Dive, which is like 40% or either 42-45% of their total damage. And in the later patches, which probably will arrive and see it by October or November, um, artillery will be very strong. And probably in the November or January, Gen January patch, uh, Tempest will get boosted. So basically, every class except like Sniper is strong for Archer in the future. So I, I heard that the Self 100 Jade is also good. So uh, only Sniper is the sad one now. And uh, oh, where are not. Again, uh, for Kali, uh, currently all Kali's are pretty weak. The best one for now will be DS, the Dark Summoner. The other classes are a bit weak, but I believe the Skill J might help them a bit. OE will be very, very strong after the Skill J, but the other ones I'm not really sure if they will be like super strong because OE got. OE skill J is very very OP. Uh, maybe FE won't be good, but but she's still not good enough to be uh, be considered as the best uh, top DPS. But yeah, the Blade Dancer skill J is also okay, but I don't think it's, she will be like super strong with the skill J. Uh, that's for Kali. And uh, what's left? I, uh, academic, the lolis. For loli, I think. Um, Gear master will be the strongest. After the dream jade patch, where they also revamp Gear master, is uh, Gear master will actually be one of the strongest class DPS class. Then, then it will be RM. Ray Montanic, then it will be Adept, then Physician, then Shooting Star, I guess. I mean, sh then, then Shooting Star, then Physician. I, I'm not really sure about the place of Shooting Star. Because it's kind of strange when they 
revamped um, Game Master, but not Shooting Star. <laughs> but yeah. Counties aren't weak, but they are just kind of out of date. But do do know that the Dream Jade patch, Oracle Elder will be super strong. She she will be able to contest one of uh, the top five DPS, I guess. Then let me think about it. Uh, what's left? Uh, Lancia. For Lancia class, uh, Flurry will be a bit weaker because her Dream Jade isn't. Very very OP. It's good, but it's not very OP. And uh, I'll say Steam Breezer will be will be stronger than Flurry after patch, after the Dream Day patch. I mean, and I think Rain Grid probably will be good too. But like, not a lot of people play Rain Grid in KDN and CDN, so there's like no way for me to make sure. Avalanche skill jade is also good, but it's still not as big of a thing as the Steam Breezer Stream Jade. And Vena Plaga they say is very strong, so she will be good, I guess. Then Makinas, Makina Ruina will be super strong. And for now, uh, the top DPS for Makina are in factor. Uh, Ruina and Defensio without bug, but since Defensio is bug now, so it's only Ruina and Impactor. But Impactor is easier to play, so most people play Impactor. But after the Dream Jade, Ruina will be super OP. She will be the top DPS. <laughs> yeah. And then, let me think about it. What's left? Did I talk about everything? I think I'll probably talk about Oh, and also, uh, Gladiator will be stronger than now because they get it on Hacking Stance and they kind of both Hacking Stance a lot with the Dream Jade, but I'm still not really sure if that will make them uh, beat Moon Lord because it's really hard to say. What? This doesn't go for? Okay. I don't think you should hurry up to finish the 1k run store. <laughs> Cause I will say unless your class is very dependent on goddess, most goddess doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, unless your class is super dependent on Goddess. So by super dependent, I mean like Abyssalker or Windwalker. Or maybe Sniper. Because Goddess make those classes like in total like 10 or 20% stronger than usual. For Moon Lord, it doesn't really matter for them actually. Like, there's difference, but it's not as big as. As the the other class I mentioned, it's like getting the goddess and not getting the goddess is like two different classes for them. For Moon Lord, it's just getting goddess made, makes you stronger. But but for the, those classes I just mentioned, it's like it, it's like a super big difference. Uh, uh yes, you can, but I don't recommend to do that if your pin is as bad, bad as me, because you see my pin is around like 200 ms. To 300 ms. Uh, what it does is that when you s use like two abyss force consecutively, there's a chance that one of the 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 last abyss strike you cast will be bugged. There's a chance. Uh, when will the Dream J patch come? Probably October, but if not October will be November. It's just in the next two months. Thank you for commenting on my costume. It's my favorite costume back in TDN, but just that I used the uh, uh, black version instead of the white because I couldn't find the black version. <laughs> See, uh, 
this guy's Harmon Boot. Yes, it does. Um, if you don't know what that what the goddess Harmon Boot uh, shoe do, it's actually the same with the. I, I mean, not the same, but very similar to uh, two skills. One is the Lancia Archer buff, which gives you additional damage when you hit crit. That's what the shoe is. It's actually just that. And for the helmet, it's like the Gladiator Aegis uh, final attack skill. Yeah. Uh, how much is gear score requirement? I don't go with gear score requirement. I, I, cause the gear score is like pretty stupid. Since you actually get like much more gear score if you use ancient equipment and if you get your accessory plus 10. Say, uh, uh, if you have around like 400, I mean, not 400, like 4 to uh, 3 to 4 mil in town attack will be enough for most classes, unless your class have like super high board damage, like Inquisitor, then it, it's not enough. But usually, like 3 to 4 mil in town attack is more than enough for FDN. I don't like the gear score system because the gear score system is very stupid. It's like it's really very very stupid. Cause um you get more more gear score from the fucking ancient equipment, even if it's a shit part. You still get more score on this than Skila. And if it's a shit part, Skila is actually stronger than the ancient equipment, so it's like a, not that reliable. And most of your gear score actually comes from your accessories. If you plus 10 them, you will have a very high gear score. So it's not like it's important. I don't like, I don't even see the gear score. Cause although my my flurry gear score is only like 8k, but I am dealing like more damage than most people, so it's not like gear score matters. Yeah. Uh, I think we can we can reach the until the very last tier of the event because usually that's what happens. See, and I'll say most people are probably waiting for the last day. I probably need to go to the toilet for a while after this run. Because I'm not feeling too well. Let me just go to the toilet for a while. And I also go in town to disassemble my stuff. Uh, BRB.
Okay, I'm back. Um, uh, so... <coughs> Do I recommend using Valiant? Uh, yes, if um, you are using Valiant only for the gloves and shoe. Because it's a very good replacement for um, Skila shoes. If your class doesn't have a skill that's very um, high in percentage in your skill details. But if you are using it for a burn lower or helmet, I would say don't. Probably better to choose like other um, options. <laughs> like in that case, if you are using for helmet, you should actually choose the forbidden helmet instead. This one, this one. You should choose this one instead. If you are using. Uh, if you are planning to use um, ancient gear for your upper and lower, you should just use the free set I'm using now, Spirit Battle Gear, instead of Valiant. Um, Cause you see, Valiant minus 7.5% crit, and if you use two, is 15%. And what do you gain? You only gain like 8% increase in attack power, which is. Uh, Notice that it's only on the maximum attack, it's not on the lowest uh, minimum attack, so it's only like actually 4% if you average it out. Then you compare it to the to the spirit battle gear. You will see that spirit yeah, battle gear adds like almost twice of the amount. So yeah. Uh back dragon. Uh I'll say no. Because, you see, it's actually lower in attack than my Spirit Battle Gear. But the only thing it's better is that when plus form, you gain more defense. <laughs> and that's the only good thing about it. You gain more your defense, and that, that's it. And I will say for most DPS classes, you won't want to get like a lot of you don't you don't want to get defense instead of attack. You will go for attack more. And also enhancing it will cost you skills, and you will want to use the skills for your accessory instead of the 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 buff and shoe. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Uh, what's important for Sin stats? Uh, I would say both are important. If you are Abyss Walker, P attack is more important. If you are um, classes like BP or LF, uh, probably LF and attack is better. But for LF, P attack is better since it can increase your healing amount. For BP, BP have a pretty low element attack, so you can't go with element attack. Usually that won't go wrong. Uh, 11% element attack is better because it has more percentage. Usually, I will go with the one with more percentage because the law of dimin diminishing return only applies when um, the percentage is the same. If you have different percentage, then it will be a different case. In most cases, 1% difference is a lot already so so the diminishing return won't make it better for you to use the lower percentage one even when you are um, original um, uh, percentage is very high anyways if you want to clear BDN you go find your a good friend that already cleared BDN and ask them to to let you join their team <laughs> just just kidding they asked me already in August but I hired this Why didn't I put this back into my server storage though? 
Okay, I'll just do it later. Thank you! And I'll probably stop farming when I get my Leap of, leap of Trust helmet. Because I already get enough, it's scaring me that my luck on God is this, this good. I didn't play DTDN since like I think probably around this time from last year because of personal issues and also TDN's too big to win. The uh, amount of cash I spend in C for one whole year is just the amount I spend in TDN for one month. That's how much the difference is. That's why I don't play TDN because I don't have enough money to play TDN. TDN is like super pay to win, so it's hard to play in there. And evades, I think you can do more service instead of Dota to sponsor your own jades. If you are on the same team with me, I will consider. <laughs> but you are not. And your teammate have been ca calling me well with no skills, so I, I will say no. If your teammate doesn't doesn't call me names, I will consider. But your teammate like to call me names, so never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, because a lot of whales are farming for their goddess now. I'll say better wait for it. Wait for some time when they make the cloister map e uh, easier to farm again. Cause um, eventually they will do it. <clears throat> like last year, around like this time when they introduced goddess shit, I was thinking like, oh, it's impossible for me to get even like one, 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 one. Perfect like part for my uh, class, but you see, after the drop rate increase, uh, um, drop rate fix this month, <laughs> I already get the perfect goddess for like four, three different classes. So yeah. Uh, plates. I will show you my plates now. Uh, like usual, I will aim for like full FD first, then I choose the other stuff. And for now, I'm switching out some of my plates because I don't have Premstone, so I I need to get like more critical. And I have like one sp one slot for extra plates. I can choose for Iona or the defense plate or some other skills. Um. The plates, but usually I I don't go with the skill plates because they doesn't they didn't make a big difference. There's like only four skills that really make a difference for Abyss Walker now. One is the Nightfall CD plate because Nightfall currently is bugged. <laughs> After the the bug fix, I will remove this plate also. Um, that line of darkness, then uh, Illusion Strike. And dark conviction. And you might ask, why don't I put shadow focus? There's currently a very good bug that makes you um, getting like a CD reduction for 
um, shadow focus if you put line of darkness plate. So this is like two plates instead of one. Yeah. <laughs> I will say try to max your FD and critical or CDD first before thinking about defense. But unless you are sure that you can't survive without the CD plate, which I don't think is the case. In like at least in most situations. Oh, why does this always cancel? Oh, I'm I'm in a relationship with my waifu. Oh yeah, G. Okay, we are married. <laughs> Take that as a compliment. Okay, goodbye. I, I will say honestly, they made it this way so that people won't complain that um, ED is making the well stronger. <laughs> they made it so that if you have good RNG, you have chance as free to play players. Because before they made it like, um, made it, make it like farming stuff, and you will one hundred percent get it. It makes the um whales very OP in that kind of situation since they can just buy the materials. So they come come up with this system where you get like ran random shits, and then there's like very low chance of enhancing, and it will fall back for um Sila, and it will break for ancient equipments to make sure that whatever shit they come up with won't overpower the whales. That's what they, they are thinking. But then it turns out like uh, goddess is like pretty hard to get if you don't have a very good RNG or enough runs. Um, I will say this is like one of the ways that they they limit the the how powerful the whales can get. Um, yeah, the maintenance is done. That's why you see me doing cluster. Should you throw your shallow focus shoe? If you don't have uh, plus 10 Skiva or plus 10 um, ancient gear, then you should keep it. You can plus it to plus 5 and stop there. Don't enhance it anymore. Because if you get the salamander shoe, you will need to replace it. You can use it, but don't, put, don't enhance it to plus 10. Because eventually you will need to replace it. Don't ever enhance anything that you are going to replace. <laughs> that would be my advice. Because <laughs> it's, it's a waste. It's really a waste. <laughs> Leap of trust. Helmet. 
leap of trust helmet, leap of trust helmet, leap of trust helmet. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Goddess Helm, uh, you have a lot of choices. I will say using that drop, uh, Flame Locust, and also Mortal Blow are all good choices. For now, the best choice will be probably uh, Mortal Blow because of the CM3. That makes it into like the highest percentage skill in the in all of those skill that I mentioned. But after the skill jade update, I think it will be flame locust. But it it still won't be a very big difference because all of the ripper damage come from the summonings, which doesn't get affected by the goddess at all. That's why I don't recommend Izuna. I, I don't say Izuna is the strongest one. It's just because they don't work on the summonings. So for Ripper, I won't say God is, is very important. You can actually use the Forbidden Helmet and stuff. It will be better if you use that. Because for that, you get increased for every skill. Just know that the, the additional damage stuff won't work on summonings. That's why Ripper is weak with the goddess. If it does work, then I will say... I will say that uh, Izuna drop is actually strongest, but, but it doesn't work, so, so no. For Ripper, just I think just get Forbidden Helmet is good enough. You can consider getting um, a Goddess Claw for Ripper. The other parts I will say it's not that important. But if you think about it, the Baby and the Glove and Shoe is actually good also. So yeah, it all depends on you. Just in general, Goddess doesn't matter for for Ripper. In general speaking. Abyss Walker OF depends on if you have Salamander Goddess. If you have Salamander Helmet and Shoe, go Abyss Walker. If you don't have, go LF. It's pretty simple. If you still want to play DPS and you don't have all the uh, don't have Salamander parts, go Ripper. Just like, oh, I didn't even done like 100 on my Alice Walker. You know, you see my attack. Probably better if I do it in town, but I can tell you it's like six point uh, seven point six five million in town. It's not like super impressive. And talent's only like 7.65. Mm, for me, not really. My moon booster will be probably like 4 or 5 runs with goddess boxes. <laughs> I'll be ha much happier with that.
this make me happy? <laughs> if my second round gets one more box, I ain't even more happy. Alright, even happier, yeah. It's okay. Eventually, I will get the part I need. Oh, right there, there's one more. Uh, yes, you can you can enhance it, the BDN accessories now. Uh, I don't think Kraken Helmet is strong enough for you to make the character just for that. I will say uh, it's more like um, classes such as Abyss Walker or OE or Wind Walker that the Goddess Helmet makes a big difference. For BP, I don't think so. Because there's like a lot of replacements, like uh, Madness Helmet and also uh, Pathway Helmet. And later when the Skill Jade Enhance come out, uh, even the Soul Breaker Helmet will be good too. So it's not like BP must use Kraken, it's not that important. Uh, Goddess, I think eventually they will make it tradable but not now it's probably when they got like new shits out like maybe step four skila i mean not step four just like another step four skila Crystal farming is for goddess equipment. If you don't know what's goddess equipment, you can just see my helmet. 
Like they get special effect for your skill. For a Salamander Helmet, it's for Illusion Strike, and it will give an FA effect like the Gladiator Final Attack. For Shield, it will give uh, the 30% additional damage when crit, which is the same with the Archer Lancia buff. <laughs> if you are really, really new, then it's, it's for the Old Assassin buff. It depends your strengths. Leap of trust. Leap of trust. Mm. I detonate a bird. Thank <laughs> you. 
five more, five more. More boxes. This is making me happy. Uh, no. I will say, uh, lethal torture helmet is still the best for now. But madness helmet is usable since um, it's not that big of a difference. What's this? Because uh, I'm lazy to show for uh, service. Yeah, Butterfly Queen is the worst one. I got cancelled so much. Okay, more boxes, more boxes, ED, more, 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 more boxes. <clears throat> I'll say for BP, the best helmet is still OT Helm, but Madness, Pass Away, and OT are very similar. It's not like a very big difference. You can just use Madness if you get Madness. Leap of trust, leap of trust, leap of trust. Okay, this is. Actually, this is a good shoe for Sally, but I'm not playing Sally. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> that, that's a strange bird. Uh, no, 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 more boxes, CD, more boxes. Uh, yes, Alice Walker with Salamander Helmet will be stronger but, uh, than BP and Kraken Helmet. In some situations, in some situations. Notice that I say in some situations. Because Alice Walker. It's very reliant on the summon shadow thing. So if you do analyze it further, you will find out that summon shadow is a very shit skill. Cause it has like 70 seconds CD but only like 20 seconds duration. So it's like if you got cancelled or somehow the boss run away or do some mess that you couldn't DPS bring that, you will lose a lot of DPS. In cases that the bosses do a lot of mechs that disrupt your rotations a lot, BP will be better because BP is more consistent. Abyss Walker is more like a burst class, so if somehow your burst rotation got cancelled or got um, interrupted, he will be bad. I assure you, he will be bad. There's a very big DPS drop if your rotation got cancelled or got interrupted. Deep of trust, deep of trust, deep of trust, no. Ah, give me more deep of trust, please. Swanker never get interrupted, then then he will be stronger than BP for sure. But if you think about it, it's not very realistic. It's like super, super, like irrealistic. Cause um, unrealistic. I'll say. Cause um, you will get. 
targeted and illusion strike doesn't have a very high SA so if you get hit during during um, your illusion strike class you will get knocked back and you need to get get back again which um, wasted your um, uh, summon shadow duration yeah DP on the other hand is just very consistent DPS. So in cases where the boss move a lot or the boss will do some skill canceling shit a lot, then um, DP will be better. If you want to word it in a very very bad way, you can say that um, Abyss Walker is better than Gollum, where the boss doesn't attack you and you don't have issues like um, stuff being cancelled and stuff, yeah. And generally BP performs better on mobile bosses. saying that the, the event doesn't even reach T1. I remember I saw the amount of boxes bought is like 22k a few days ago. Let me just check it. Let's see Dragon Mast. Gotcha gotcha event. Okay. Okay the, but it really didn't reach it. But I will say say still have like about a month. Probably will reach it like tomorrow or or two days later. But from my experience, it will suddenly boost up in the last few days. <laughs> Boxes, more boxes, please, more boxes, please, more boxes, please.
Okay, this is weird. I wish I can listen to hype songs or at least a more um, energetic song. Probably one more run. If there's no, still no boxes, I will just go back. Sad that YouTube will give me like copyright strike if I if I use copyrighted song. That's why I'm going with those like non copyrighted songs. Which I don't really like because usually they are not my type of stuff. Okay, pretty common cards.
<coughs> Let me just farm a few before I. Oh, or maybe I should just open the boxes. Oh, I'll just open the boxes. Then. Leap of faith, please. Leap of faith. Leap of oh, leap of trust. 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 Let me check. Okay, it's not good. This is also not good. You should just put the decent board. I was trying to see if the bar barrier will stop me from getting hit, but she died too fast. <laughs> oh wait, okay, fuck, the, the chat didn't update itself, okay. Uh, Goddess equipment can be server storage if you use Celestone. Uh, if Abbas Walker have Ripper ulti CD reduction, he will be very very strong, he will be overpowered and definitely stronger than BB. Uh, okay, I'll bless you with my good RNG and you won't get uh, Mondor stuff because I don't even get Mondor stuff. <laughs> okay, Gears, Salamander, Spirit Battle Gear. Forest Dragon, the BDN Reset, Fifth, fifth Step, Crystal Flame, Necklace, Full Critical Damage, Full Top Crit, Element Attack, uh, 161, <laughs> FD is full, my defense, my costumes, my plates. My talisman, I didn't have a full ancient talisman because I'm lazy. Okay, sorry for not replying because YouTube didn't update my chat like, for some reason, I don't know why. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Mm, does YouTube ex expect me to fucking F5 every, every few minutes just to see my chat? doing this uh, I don't look at K dramas I don't look at dramas at all my whole life is the end mm. yeah but I need to refresh it like every time and it's like very annoying why is there this wife fight on the blooper what the fuck uh but I'm lazy <laughs> Hello hello Nice box. Box, box, box. 
box, 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 box. Yes, fire boxes. Uh, yes, at the end weapon, you don't need to use jolly at all. Until, uh, yeah, you don't need to use jolly at all. It's like 80% for each, almost like 80% for each step. Leap of trust, leap of trust. No, I don't want CC helmet, I want leap of trust. Or a kitty shoe, both is fine. But I, I don't really want to see kitty shoe now since I already enhanced my puppy. Puppy set. It will make me sad if I get it. Consider to come come back and play again since they make the farming system better now. I don't think it's late though, cause they they really g give a lot of nice stuff for the new players. Like it's much easier to farm now than like one year before. It's not like staying give you like more stuff. Staying just make you feel bad. Like why don't I play this game later? It's, it's really like, oh, I should have played like one year later so that I'll get, I, I won't, it, it won't like take me so long to get my stuff. For me, at least for me, it looks, it's, it's like that. It's just very sad. Well, you can't really play any MMORPG if you are lazy to level up. Because the core of MMORPG is the farming. They make it so that you will feel like, oh, I did something with my life on this stupid game by farming. That's why it's like, like you need to spend time on it. Well, the end game gear will have like two choices. One is the ancient gear I'm using now. One is Sila. Sila came, came from the Calyp set, so you probably know Calyp set. It's just the tier four Calyp set. It's not a big difference. Then the end game raid is currently BDM time attack and only like one team cleared, so it's like still pretty new. It's not like it's different than before. Why is there like so much random bluebirds?
Leap of trust. Leap of trust. Leap of trust. Leap of trust. What is this? Oh. SD. Oh. Uh, you probably put it too expensive. Like, you got like what stat? Like 492 or 566? And what part? Of, what plate is it? For me, I just so I just sold my uh, verify six six like yesterday. That's why I have so much gold on me now. Uh, Paladin. Oh, you're the one that put the into one. Uh, my strength, my bear, verify six six got sold at three hundred and eighty k. Can consider put put it around like 380, 370, so that could go by. Uh, Guardian, no, but Crusader, yes, Crusader is OP. Well, I'm not sure if they have like new changes since I'm not a PvP person. This butterfly thing is very annoying. <laughs> uh, teach you Indian gear. Uh, by account, by account, just by account. This this game is very simple. You can either solve it by go, uh, solve solve it by money or solve it by time. You either whale whale by time or whale by money. There's no difference. <laughs> just by account if you if you want it to be done in one month. Uh, how much and and gear for now? Depend like how, like how do you define it? Cause some people define ending gear as just um perfect jade, and that that's it. For me, my ending gear will be like something like my BP, and that will be like super super expensive to buy. Cause I'm not going to sell it and not. And I don't think any endgame players were going are willing to sell their accounts because they've spent too much on it. Yeah, it will be like probably more than five k USD for people being willing to sell it. I guess even if it's five k, I, I doubt people want to sell though. Because for them, the money isn't the important thing you now. But generally, like for 1k USD, you will get a pretty, pretty decent account now. Like it's not, it's not enough for BDM, but but it's enough for FDN at least. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, the Sin Skill Jade. Uh, they say that the Ripper Skill Jade is good because they um apparently it makes the CD reduction very fast. And for Abyssalker, I think it's trash. For Raven, I think it's trash. For BP, I think it's trash. Uh, Life Fairy Jade is very OP. It's stronger than Ink Strike, so I will say definitely can use that. Only for LF. The other, other four are trash. Um, not other three. LF and Ripper, other three are trash. Uh, this game isn't dead. There's a lot of people playing in Z. It, really, a lot of people playing in DNC. It's probably the most alive server you can find it um, outside of CDN. For at least for Dragon Nest. Like a lot of people like to say it's dead, but it's like uh, more alive than a lot of the other uh, online games already. <laughs> I don't know if it's it's a DDM DM people special thing that they like to say that their games are dead. Yeah, anything that works for you. 
how old am I? I prefer not to answer this question because I don't think it's important. Okay, I don't think this is important. Today, if I'm a 10 year old lolly or if I'm a 50 year old, 50 year old auntie, it doesn't really matter at all. Because I'm thinking like most people come from the come for either the voice or or the willing. No one comes for the age. <laughs> Hi, Roger. Hi, Buddy Strike. Hi, Dosh. Okay, I, I'm ego. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Uh, it will be hard to say because FD Talisman is very hard to sell now. So I will say it's okay. It's not too low. I will say uh, 300k is too low, but 400k is good enough. Thank you for saying my voice is uh, yawn. Uh, OP class right now. Mm, I will say a lot of classes are OP now. There, are, it's easier if you ask like, what class aren't OP now? This is an easier question because it's easier to say that this is like what class is an OP. What the class is OP now? Because they they make the skill J thing, so the class balancing is a bit better than before. Like around like twenty out of the thirty of uh, around like thirty of the classes are usable already. Out of the total like forty or fifty classes, I kind of forget. But well, uh, what did I press the wrong? Fuck. Yeah, so because it's like very shit. Yeah, I press it. Ah, fuck my life. They they choose Soul Breaker because if they choose other skill, BP will be too strong. This is kind of balancing. If you are wondering. No, no one. Uh, I'm not from C. I'm I'm from NA. Uh, website. They you can't really do that now because there is like too many outside. Um, outside factors to consider like whether you have the perfect goddess whether you have the money to enhance the dream j for the next patch and like having the perfect dream j uh, goddess in the j makes a very big difference on the thinking now so it's very hard to say and like most classes with the dream j are op or and most uh, classes that are not op with the dream j are op with the goddess or they are op already so I will say it's like it's not like uh, a great big issue on the class balancing. There's like no one class that's super OP now. After the Dream Date patch. Before it's like like one year ago it's only like flurry. Flurry and ML is the way, but now they balance most of the classes, so it's not like a very big difference. I will say like even like like the revamp classes are probably even stronger in BPF. Yeah. But that's kind of hard to say because uh, no one actually tested yet to see since we don't get the patch yet. Say I will suggest you don't play Moon Lord since Moon Lord's skill J is pretty shit. 
It's better if you aim for a class that's stronger in the next patch, I guess. Which is more like the uh, Gear Master, Rena, or Tempest, I'll say. Leap of Trust. Okay, now that's a bit away. For now, I would suggest you just play like the classes you like instead of playing OP classes since we have no idea what will happen to the class rankings. Like, one day your classes might still be OP, the second day you, it will be shit. It's it's like the cases for for the, the Stream Jade update. So, so yeah. Just play any classes you like. Only, only like a few classes that's unplayable, like uh, the uh, certain spin-offs like Arc Heretic, DA, and um, How, what's the difference between stupid and stupidity? <laughs> Whoa. I will say... Uh, that's, uh, there's not really a big difference because eventually you will find out that there's also no difference between smart and stupid. So there's no difference between stupid and stupidity. There's like some 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 point in your life where you realize everyone is stupid, including yourself. Because we are not all knowing, so it will make us stupid. And life is just full of stupidity. <coughs> okay, how do you well properly get on this game? I will say by account. Although you shouldn't say that, but I will say by account. Okay, Rod Roger, just farm yourself. Uh, staff screw, uh, plus 15, yes, but it's impossible to plus 15, so no. <coughs> uh, actually, it just depends on you. Like, a lot of classes are, are tank and DPS now, and Paladin, not really. For Crusader, because they removed the tanking stuff in Crusader already. Since they want to make it so that tanks are special, so Guardian get more job. Guardian doesn't get replaced by Crusader. Yeah. So if you are looking for tank and DPS, don't play Crusader. If you want to look at tank and DPS, play, play Guardian. Cause Crusader couldn't tank anymore. Inquisitor, kind of weak right now, but might be okay after the Dream Jay, cause he get a pretty good skill in my opinion. At least it's not a useless skill. Well, they won't be useless since we have no idea whether ED will buff it or no. They will eventually buff everything, seeing like how they do things right now. And if they buff it, usually it will be like much stronger than before. So yeah. <laughs> usually, usually. The only exception to this is a class named Arc Heretic. He always get nerfed. Yeah. 
uh, Barb is pretty weak and his dream jade is shit. So that that's like some of the classes that I will recommend you not to uh, not to play right now. Uh, Destroyer is a pretty good tank. So if you if you are okay with like dealing less DPS than the DPS classes, then you can play tank classes. If you are not okay with that, then you shouldn't play tank classes. Because they made it so that tank classes and healer classes deal less DPS than um, DPS classes. Which is supposed to be that way. Uh, leap of... Leap of... Uh, what was it called again? Leap of... Trust, leap of trust, helmet, leap of trust, helmet, leap of trust, helmet. Uh, Gladiator is okay, but I will say... Uh, depends on what happened to the hacking stance changes in KDN. Hacking stand Dream Jade ch ch uh, changes. He got a pretty good Dream Jade, but they changed it a bit, so I'm not really sure like what's the situation now. What are my thoughts on Roger Red? My thought on Roger Red is R.I.P. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Gladiator did, did get a very good Dream Jade though. The Hacking Stance Dream Jade is pretty strong. Three more boxes, so I have more reason to find. If I don't get any boxes, like right now, I will, I will probably just end the stream like 30 minutes later. So, ED, time to give me boxes! So, 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 so I won't offline. No, oh, give me boxes! Why is it so hard for them to give me back this? <laughs> boxes, give me boxes. You are listening to my prayers. It will be even better if you give me Leap of Trust Helmet or Kitty Shoe. <laughs> leap of Trust Helmet, Leap of Trust Helmet, Leap of Trust Helmet, Leap of Trust Helmet, Leap of Trust Helmet. Ugh, stop giving me good luck or stuff.
I'm farming for my subs or my other mates. I would uh, rather call it that way. That's why I'm farming cloister. I always farm cloister for my subs because they didn't get perfect goddess. And because I have nothing else better to do. I was originally planning to do some uh, co-op, but kind of get like since the party got full before I got it, before I go in. So, uh, no, it's not nightmare. It's just harder, but it's actually not that hard. It just takes more time for me to kill it. But I have like too many runs to do, so I'm a bit lazy now. I will just do master to make sure that it won't take me too long. Some boxes to wake me up, BD. Some boxes. You can't wake me up. The only way to wake me up is to give me a kitty shoe or a beep of trust helmet. Leap of trust or kitty helmet, uh, kitty, kitty shoe. Leap of trust or kitty shoe. Leap of trust or kitty shoe. Leap of trust. <laughs> I'm not happy about this. Fuck you and that. Fuck you, okay? Actually, actually, it doesn't matter though. You'll trigger me more if you put like leap of trust to me, okay? Leap of trust, okay? Leap of trust. I bet you don't have that. <laughs> yeah, see, you don't have it, so you can't hurt me. You can't hurt me, sir. You can't hurt me. I don't care. Just like I dissemble your tectonic overflow shoe. You can try, I don't think you'll get it. And actually it doesn't matter if you get it since no one will play Rangrid instead of me. It's not like you'll play Rangrid because of the Leap of Trust, like Rangrid is still shitting you with the Leap of Trust. Fuck you undead! Fuck you!
boxes. Where are my boxes? Quiet, Roger. You can do cloister again. Okay, fuck you. But, but actually, it doesn't matter since you don't play rain grid. You doesn't play rain. You, do, you don't play rain grid at all, so I don't care. And you can do cloister now if you want. I can switch to BP and show you my kraken. To just hurt each other. <laughs> Not like you can do anything. The fuck, I'm in ice cream. I'll just do until like three hours stream time then I'll close because I don't see I'm getting like any stuff from choice right now. I can get hit even on ice. Such a shit thing. Hello? Okay, thank you. Why am I getting strange feels? You should actually ask and dead about that though. Since and dead got your shoe, I think he got your helmet too. More, please. Okay, I'll just do one, or two more ones, and I go out to the symbol. Do you mean by FDM rate? You 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 mean that in FDN is it possible for my um Abyss Walker to be my BP? I'll say yes. Cause I have both goddess. 
But it's also kind of hard to say though. Like if I, I, I only think this way because my pin isn't very good for playing, um, fuck, uh, for playing BP. Because my, uh, transfer got bugged rather, um, uh, normally compared to those people who play in C. If you are seeing a BP that have transformed that doesn't bug like 50% of the time, I think uh, Abyss Walker can't win. But for my case, my BP bugs a lot. Sometimes like for like half of the run, I'm not doing any DPS because my transform got bugged. So for that case, I will say Abyss Walker is stronger because Abyss Walker doesn't have that kind of bugs that are related to pin that much and nor do they affect your DPS a lot. Okay, actually, actually this is good though. I, I, can, I can stop the hurricane from hitting me. So no, because cur the current Abyss Walker have two bugs. They will fix one of the bugs, I think, probably next month or next ne next month, which nerf Nightfall by a lot. But it's actually not a nerf since Nightfall isn't supposed to do that much damage. So I won't say it's a nerf. It's just a bug fix. Currently, Abyss Walker have a bug that makes Nightfall deals like ten times of the original damage. So. If they fix that, Abyss Walker will be uh, weaker by like 8%. Leap of Trust. But it's not a significant nerf though, since you can use other skills instead of Nightfall to fill up the gap, but still. See? The, that 25B from Nightfall, that shouldn't happen. It should be like 2.5B instead of 25B. So that might affect a bit of the DPS, but I don't think it will be significant. Enough to make Abyss Walker weak. But I will say it will make him like much weaker without the summon shadow. So after the bug fix, BP probably will be a bit stronger. If the BP doesn't have pin issues. But it also depends on the situation though. So it's like really hard to compare since they are like two different uh, type of classes. I'm from NA. Uh, to be specific, I'm from Canada. I don't play on the NA server because NA server don't have people. Yeah, that, that bug is pretty strong right now. The other bug is a CD play bug that I mentioned like one hour ago, one or two hours ago. Which uh, do affect a bit on the, the fates you can use, but uh, I don't think it will be a big issue. But the Nightfall bug is a huge DPS difference. Not a huge, but it's a kind of significant, but also kind of like uh, okay, so it's not like killing the class, but it's just that he's not that OP. Where do I live? Uh, I will say I live in Vancouver. Hope that answers your question. Uh, Lopin, yeah, I think Lopin BP will be better than Abyss Walker. 
since you don't have the transform bug. So theoretically, BP will do much more damage. But BP is also, um, I will say, harder to pilot if you don't have a healer. So in cases that requires you to uh, dodge a lot and it's probably will get hit in the process, it will depend on the pilot team more. My pin is pretty high. My pin is around like 200 to 300 ish. It's not a good position. This is not a good skill either. Uh, VPN doesn't. VPN doesn't make my pin better. To be honest, VPN doesn't make my pin better. I tried a lot of VPNs, it doesn't really make my pin better unless like my somehow my line have problem connecting, but most in most situations it doesn't really make a difference. Like um, for example, let me just let me just get the my normal pin very fast. So you see now it's 244. Like with VPN, it will it will still be around 200. It's not like having VPN will make it under like 200. It's still 200 ish. It doesn't really make my pin better. Uh, except lag doesn't work. It's it's because Canada is just too far away, so. Yoga, I have no idea what you are talking about. Uh, of course, Shadow Mode Abyss Walker. But, but, Ripper Ulti is stronger as in the way that you can recover CD from it. While Shadow Mode can't, so, so like, Alice Walker has this big problem that he can't, uh, you couldn't really like miss any of your skills. Um, I can't move for obvious reason because I live here. <sighs> and I will say. It's not like the lag is unbearable, but it, it does affect my DPS. reason to use face cam you give me a reason why I use face cam will be better like will I get a lot of donations from it I think no I won't get anything from it it's just exposing my personal information I, I don't think it's it's a good idea okay why do I say I won't get any big donation because the end is a dead game no one watched for it 
if I'm a, I'm, I'm like a, a League of Legends streamer, then I will consider since I can earn from it. If I can't earn from it, I don't see any reason for me to. Like, actually, I don't see any reason for me to even speak here. Uh, yes, I have a twin problem in TDN too, and actually TDN's pen is even worse. But you do see me playing still okay on t on TDN, so I will say for like NA players, uh, you shouldn't be sh shouldn't be like thinking too much about the pen in C if you want to play on C, because. Yeah, I, I'm going to be very pissed off if this is this doesn't give me a box. Well, you. <laughs> Well, I, I won't get a lot of money from this anyway. I doubt like any of, the, of you will even donate, so no point of doing that. Because if if I want if you want me to do face cam, you need to give me a good enough reason for me to do it. I I am expecting like an income that can compensate like at least my welding in the end, which unfortunately won't happen since most people just watch for free. There's like a reason for me to do that. And I really can't understand why why will you want to see like people's faces on a fucking game uh, in a fucking dead online game. You, it's better if you go to Instagram to find for that kind of shit. To be honest, yeah. Well, I didn't say I'm a girl anyway, so I'm not really caring much. And for me, my channel isn't there because like the main focus of my channel isn't my gender for a long time like when i just be reach 1k subscriber most people don't doesn't even know my voice is like this so i don't see a reason like why you guys should be should focus on the gender thing and also the face cam there's no reason to do that at all Since most people subscribe to my channel not for the voice, but for the content. And to be honest, if you if you want me to put a face cam, you can just post any random girl picture there and you will be fine. As it doesn't really matter for me. That like whether whether it's a good looking girl or a bad looking girl, since my focus on this channel is always the end instead of like showing off how I look. Not sure if that makes sense, but well. Mm, I'm not saying you, I'm just saying like why Why I don't think like... I don't think there's reason for me to use base cam. The drop rate, uh... It's 10% by data mine and it feels like 10%. Okay, give me leap 
of trust. Mm, why is this? Well, it's it's because I didn't get for a long time before. I, I remember there's a few like runs like that I didn't get even get like boxes. Yeah, I like I figure out like most people won't even care for the face cam and probably won't like for me I don't like to see gaming channels with face cam like I legit don't like to see because I'm not there for the person I'm there for the gameplay uh, that that's just for me because I, I I'm not there for the person and I don't think like whether the the person who's playing the game is a girl or a guy good looking or bad looking will affect much since we are not on Instagram now, you know. So that shouldn't be the main focus. Hey, is that a some strange book that I just see? Why why is my Nightfall not doing dark damage just now? <laughs> yeah, RNG fiends is awful. It's like it's, it's like really really awful. Like you get run, you get you get times that you don't even get one box in like fifty runs, and you get times that you get like five blocks in a row. And the, and the thing I don't like about face cam is because there's a trend for like female um, streamers of like not focusing on the gameplay and doing like other stuff instead. Like I've seen a lot of that, like showing off their body on screen when they are doing a gaming stream. Yeah, for me, it's like not the right place to do that, but somehow people like that a lot, so... Okay, whatever that suits them. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is, DN doesn't ha even have an audience to begin with, you know? Like, if DN is a popular game, then I will consider, but today DN doesn't even have a audience to begin with like mo e like you see it, there's like 28 people in my chat and for like considering like how many different DN streams there 28 is a lot already I'm like one of I, I don't like to say this but I'm like the streams with like more viewers because it's very hard for like DN streams to go even over like 20 people watching It, it, it's a sad thing, but <laughs> it's just that the DN isn't that popular and for in general like MMORPG no one will want to watch. Usually they like to watch stuff such as um uh like more like the PvP games instead of a PvE game like Dragon Nest. Especially like it's a very old game already. So likely people won't even watch it. Yeah, the end is dead. That, that's like one of my main reasons why I don't even consider using face cam and before I don't even consider revealing my voice. Now I reveal my voice because I'm lazy on the video editing. Since if I don't talk, I need to put on the subtitles and that will take me hours. The only reason I talk, I talk in videos now is because I'm lazy to do the subtitles. <laughs> Or else, originally, I don't even put I don't even put my voice inside. Okay, 
I, I won't. I will close my eyes and pretend I didn't see anything. Hopefully, I'll get something good. Wait, what's this? Okay, it's kind of shit. What's this? Oh my god. Storage, by the way. So annoying. Like, I, I know a lot of Abbott's Walker will kill me because of this, but. Did it. Why? Be, why? I can feel all my friends getting angry at me for me getting like the second salamander helmet and the second salamander shoe in my storage. Ah. <laughs> don't even know what to don't even know like what to say now. If only it's devastation helmet, I will be so happy. Like stuff just come out when you 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 got too much of them. Like you when you got them actually. <laughs> That's also some reason that like why why you shouldn't farm after you get your goddess. <laughs> Yeah, since um, uh, my salamander parts are also in my storage, I probably will, will go and hence my current one too, first of all, if it's possible. Assemble it. I'll put it in my storage and probably will enhance it like this week or next week, depending on how good my skill is. <sighs> Feels bad. <laughs> it's not trash. I can enhance it over plus twelve, but but it's still like <sighs> why. <laughs> How many runs I did now? Mm -hmm. Must know what I thought. Uh, 
on because of this do you see those maps <laughs> do you see those maps I couldn't transfer them they're all on my Abyss Walker there's like 1.9k maps on me and I don't even know what to do with it I need you to finish it someday. <laughs> the only reason I'm doing it is because of the maps I have had on them. Uh, otherwise, I would do it on my BP because my BP is like much faster than this one. <laughs> Uh, I don't say being is bad for more of most cases because you have like better options like FDN, GDN, BDN ring, all better than the goddess ring unless you are doing um, comp on content like SDS. Nice. CT Won't say no to that Uh, Ghost Look Box If you open Ghost Look Box, you will get a lot of it Uh, Ghost Look Box The power of Ghost Look Keys Because before I open um, Ghost Look on this character for for the hope of getting like Goddess, the the class specific Goddess, but I kind of end up getting the Goddess from my other characters farming, so I end up like transferring them to him. Yeah, the current ghost will give a lot of maps. I didn't even open any of the bundles, so this is just the maps from the ghost box, not even the bundles. Sometimes I feel like ED is hinting me that I should play Abyss Walker. Uh, for the Cloister key is 1% ish. For the Co op key is like 7 or 6%. I kind of forget. Oh, for map? For Ghost Look? Um, yeah. It's pretty good. Since I remember I opened my. Like, around like 100 boxes i get like 100 maps plus a few bundles like probably more than 100 boxes of maps like uh 200 or 500 i kind of forget not really sure because each time it's a bit different due to the rng Uh, evades whale, okay, whale, whale more. Stop playing Dota. Uh, yeah, I thought I won't play again because TD and because uh, of TD and shits, but like. Luckily, like, see people are very supportive, so here am I. Uh, for Ripper, yeah, he's fun, but.
but I I will say um currently um I don't see any reason for me to play him, and I also don't have another assassin with conversions. Uh, I, I have to say that I like Abyss Walker a lot, cause he's like my he's like the reason why I got famous on YouTube. Mostly for the Abyss Walker gameplay. So, so there's like, so he's like a bit special to me, but. But Ripper, I'm not actually famous for that, so yeah. Like back in TDN, I'm most famous for, for um, LF and also Abyss Walker. Because of my RUDN services and also guides. Yeah, can say it's sentimental value or can can just say it as like I like have a soccer gameplay more. And also have a soccer have like the cure and the healing, the small healing for the team. I like it much more before when when they didn't nerf the small heal from that for Abyss Walker. Since I like what? what did I just cancel my own line of darkness? Um anyways, since I liked it before that, um you get you, you get to be like a half healer and half DPS for Abyss Walker. Uh, like I said, I I can run at Abyss, but I don't think I have a chance to finish my maps if I run at Abyss for like, cause Abyss one Abyss run can let me do like two or three master runs. <laughs> if I run at Abyss, it will take me probably I will say maybe like three fucking months just to finish the maps. And I don't see the point since I still have a lot of maps in my other characters. That's the only reason I'm doing master. Um, Raven. I will say he need a revamp because. Like his war damage is good before, but they didn't buff him anymore. So he's like kind of the stuff from the ancient times. My skill build. Here's my skill build. It's like nothing special. The uh, the only thing that's a bit special is that I didn't take plasma burst. I didn't max it. But I will say after the nightfall uh, bug fix, I will probably use my skill points at plasma burst instead or maybe even i add full brightness yeah my damage is overload i know but it's just abbas take me too much time i don't want to spend like three months just clearing like one character Cause you see, even even with like me steamrolling all of the bosses now, it takes me like so much time just to like finish a hundred runs. I didn't even finish a hundred runs like in two hours. Not to say like Abyss will take definitely take longer, and this when this happened, I will die. Nightfall bug fix. Okay. Oh, I didn't. I didn't clear my. Okay. So you see, nightfall damage is 22b. But if you look at the skill, the damage percentage right here, barrier spellman's attack power 
1776. Then you will get another skill called Night Explosion. Attack power is 3995. So, by theory, Night Explosion should be much higher than um, night, Nightfall. But you see, this happens. Nightfall got 22B, but Night Explosion is only like 20B. Granted, night, night, night Explosion didn't crit, but you can just see the difference and you know that something is wrong with the Nightfall damage. Something is like very wrong with the Nightfall damage. Uh, if you are playing Light Fairy but your DPS is higher than... Uh, higher than, than Abyss Walker, I will say you're probably not used to the Abyss Walker DPS rotation, which might affect your DPS a lot. But Abyss Walker is definitely stronger than Light Fairy now. There's like no reason like Abyss Walker will lose. Because just from the Nightfall bug and from the Abyss Claw and from the LOD, he's stronger than LF already. Mostly because of the Nightfall bug, but well. <laughs> okay, so this can block. Actually, actually, it's pretty nice for this PvP skill. Uh, okay, element attack. Uh, note that I don't have the new willpower on, so my element attack is a bit lower. And I'm using the spirit battle gear set, so my element attack is a bit it's like 10% higher than normal, normal people. It's like 161%. Now. Yeah, the the keyboards are like mechanical keyboards out. That's why like it's so loud when I'm typing stuff. Uh, they 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 fix it in CDN. They actually fix it in CDN. They fix it in CDN. I'm not sure what happened in KDN, but they say they fix it in CDN like like two or three weeks later. So it's a bug since they got it got, got fixed in CDN. Well, actually, the thing that make Abyss Walker good is the Salamander helmet and the new Salamander, uh, and the new Summon Shadow stuff. So it doesn't really matter that much since, since, um, to be honest, it won't be that big of a difference. It's just it'll just be like a five percent decrease in DPS at most. So I, I don't think it's a big difference. Yeah. Uh thank you for loving me. Uh Flurry and RM are still pretty good. And for Spirit and Valiant depends on like how many, what parts of the gear are you replacing. 
and um, how many of them are you wearing? Like for, in my opinion, Vivian is only good when you wear two set, and it's best if it's on shoe and um, glove. For like upper and lower, I think there are better choices. And for helmet, the best choice is either Goddess or Forbidden. Eventually, yes. So that really depends on like how, how long are you willing to wait. Uh, Ripon and Abyss Walker. If you have Salamander Goddess, Abyss Walker is stronger. If you don't have Salamander Goddess, Ripper is stronger. It's just this difference. Salamander is like very a very big uh, DPS boost for Abyss Walker. It makes Abyss Walker very strong. So it's actually like the reason why Abyss Walker is strong now, because of the goddess. Not the Riven, not really. The Riven isn't strong enough for him. Now. Oh, I mean, the Riven with the goddess is strong. It's like very strong. I, I can say that. Because my DPS on my Abyss Walker is crazy. Yeah, true. If they are geared enough, they are good. But I will say Ripper is more consistent than the Abyss Walker. And Ripper has more survival than BP because of the self heal and also of the iframe and also of the ulti. So there's like good and bad for every class, at least for Assassin. The only class that has that now is Raven. All the other classes have like different um, specialities, so then you have like different reasons to use them. Like Abyss Walker is very bad when the boss moves too much or use like skills that will cancel you a lot or just interrupt your DPS rotation. BP is good when you have a healer on the team. Um, Ripper is good for um, very bad DPS environments. Like uh, when you don't have a healer and also the boss move around a lot. In that case, Ripper will be good. Like, not very good, but at least he will be better than the other two. Mm, yeah, it's expensive. Yes, you need helmet and shoe salamander like what I, I have right now. The helmet salamander and the shoe salamander. Uh, good alternative, I will say for now that your best choice is the one I'm using now, the Crystal Fame. Fifth step, Dark Attack. This is the best choice. If you can clear BDN, then it's the BDN Earring, but if you can't clear, I note that I use clear, okay? It's clear the whole nest, not only the few, first few stages, because you need to enhance the Earring to be strong, so uh, the best choice will be the Crystal Flame. Fifth step. For Ghostsook, I, I recommend you to buy it with the coupon because they often give out those coupons with discounts. If you don't have the discount, you probably best if you don't buy.
where do I get so many tea? Uh, from from Ghost of Box. If you are referring to the map. Oh, why why do I even buy extra? Ah. Okay, I feel like someone will kill me now. weapon is cheaper but if you want to enhance over plus 10 skill will be a better choice since you don't need to replace your weapon that often so it's easier for you to reach uh, plus 15 or something like ev eventually you probably will need to go change to skill because of that Not always FDN weapon, because FDN weapon will break after 10. So in the case of enhancing skill and enhancing FDN weapon, I will say enhancing a skill over plus 10 is actually better in the long run, long run, long run. Since for most people it's like very hard to get FDN weapon to even plus 13, but skill it won't break. So theoretically, you can reach plus 15 in your lifetime. If you have enough money. For a few weapon, if you fail, you need to start over again. So it's... It's like really... Ugh, impossible, I will say. So if you are saying at the same enhancement, of course, that means weapon is stronger. I will say skill up main weapon is better because you can uh, change it to other classes like other weapons if you need but at the end you must stay, uh, stick with the same class so it's best for um, spin-offs since it's impossible for spin-off to okay, will this block it? no it won't block this is a scam it says that it will block when when it blocks like the ranged attacks, but it doesn't block. What the fuck? Goddess, yeah. There's, uh, there's no uh, ancient secondaries for now. So secondary, you must go with Skila, anyways. It's already free hour. I probably should end my stream soon, but ah, the temptation of keep going on, and then I will suddenly get my own parts. I mean, get the parts I'm aiming for, not my own parts. Don't give me, don't give me my own parts, please. I don't want to see any salamander anymore, please. What time is even in air? Uh, no, KDN is more events, but in terms of cash items and like the pay to win stuff, CDN is more events. Uh, let me just show you something, okay? Okay, do you see this? I got a Salamander shoe in my storage too. I think this probably means that you want me to play Abyss Walker. <laughs> It's 
it's like fated. <laughs> but I really wish they they give me like ranger stuff. Cause no one's playing Rangrid now. And I think if I if I play Rangrid it might boost up the population a bit. I just walk we got a lot of people playing already. Oh no, at the only have weapon. The main weapon only. Mmm. Uh Salamander I only prefer the helmet and the shoe. The other parts are pretty useless, so I I say you can go with um Skila for them. The glove, there's not much choice, so you probably need to go with the goddess version. But it, it, it can't be any skill. Don't need to be Salamander. Okay, they never prevent the bug. They make the bug fix in future patches. So they go with the future patches. They don't put they don't fix the bug in previous patches, okay? They never fix the bugs in previous patches. Never. That's why sometimes when people ask me like why this what how to solve this bug, how to solve that bug, I can answer them. Cause it happened before in other servers. For example, the MLC M3 bug. A lot of MLs ask like, what what should they do? And I answer them by uh, telling them how the bug happened and how to avoid it. And also for some artilleries that come and ask me. And also for um, defense seals. So, I'm not a seer and I don't know about their classes. But it happened in CDN and KDN and TDN before. So that's what I know. They never fix it. Okay, they never fix. There will only be more bugs instead of less bugs. For C. Uh, how long it take me to build my character? Uh, I will say like one year. But I, I'm a pay to win player. That's why you see me with like so much maps. For me, it takes like one year to be like. Mm, one of the top gear assassins in the server. So, if you want to be the top gear of your class, probably take one year if you will. Like, legit, ED, ED doesn't fix bugs, they only create bugs. If the bug fix comes with future patches, it will come with future patches. Unless the bug is game breaking, an Abyss Walker case, not really, because it, it only boosts up the damage by a little bit. So they don't mind fixing it right now. Yeah, if you have a lot of money, you can reach that gear for in like one month. I mean, legit a lot of money. Not a little, a lot. Like, I'm saying something like probably over like 10k USD if you are starting from scratch. If you are buying an account, probably for 5k USD. It takes this so long for my night uh, for my dark connection to explode. Leap of faith helmet. I fucking bought another key. <laughs> Leap of uh, trust helmet. Leap of trust helmet. Leap of trust helmet. It's just a major. Still not usable. I'm actually f farming for my Abyss Walker's um, glove in case I want to change the uh, armor to skill. 
you can by buying account and also you can just enhance Skiva so you don't need to get the FDM weapon and for me I'm considering getting a plus like getting a Skiva weapon because just because like it's impossible for me to get my FDM weapon over plus 12 Like, a lot of stuff can be solved by money. Like, legit a lot of stuff. Buying accounts, which is illegal according to the user agreement. But ED won't know, so... Yeah. And also, uh... I, I, I will say if you want to enhance uh, you want to increase your gear in a very short time you need to do a lot of stuff that will violate the user agreement like legit a lot of stuff so let's say if you want to do stuff with the user agreement it probably will take you more than take 10k USD to gear up if you follow all the parts from the user agreement. So yeah. Like legit a lot of stuff are banned from happening in the user agreement but ED never banned people so like not never ban, but they rarely ban people, and it's hard for them to ban. Cause if they ban people, uh, a lot of uh, innocent people will ban too. So it's not like they can do it. But if you really go by the user agreement, it will take so much money to hear. Uh, the gold. Uh, I will use it to enhance my skill. I, 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 I promise you guys, I will do giveaway with my skill uh, secondary of each plus sixty, and I have leftover gold. <laughs> it's unlikely, but well, might happen. Okay, more arena parts that I don't need. I'm willing to do giveaway if I get my secondary up to plus 16. If that can make my skill weapon to plus 16, I'm very willing to do it. I'm, I'm also willing to donate all my map bundles if I get my secondary to, <laughs> to 16, because it already cost me so much gold! My secondary is only like my the secondary that I'm trying to enhance is only plus ten now, and it, it's been stuck in like plus eight for like one month already. Not one month, like at least like two or three weeks. Using FDM weapon now because this is my sub, and I also only have like one skill main weapon, and it's not even plus 10 yet. 
Because it's been stuck in plus eight for like a month. Well, Koli is a free-to-play player, so he couldn't really contest with like Wells, like me and the other people in Eden. And he also don't do a lot of service. You can't really catch up unless like you are either a whale or you do service a lot. Like in some people's where you can call that a no-life servicer. What? Why? I'm lost. Okay, this this boss is very annoying, especially for the DOD damage. All those cancels. Gacha event. I, I already bought my, my share for the gacha event. I bought like four characters and I, I'm, I'm not going to go for more. Uh, I think they might do it in the future. By future, I mean like maybe six months later. <laughs> Since they always do that, they make the gearing process easier for new players to catch up. Eventually they will do that, but it's still very early. And I, th I doubt that you will even want to wait for like 6 months. Not to say like you won't really even be playing in six months for some people. I don't even know if I will play in six months. Yeah, if you want end game gear, you can just make a private server and then gear it off the end game. But there's no point to that, right? Uh, the fun part about MMORPG is playing with other people. Uh. Benefit of using Vadian armors, uh, there's two. One is that uh, for Gloth and Shu, uh, they are stronger than Skilla plus 10, the plus 10 uh, ancient gears. And also, two set Vadian give you 8% uh, max attack percentage. So, uh, that's one. And then, uh, some other people use it for like when they need to replace two parts, but I don't think it's good unless you are replacing the unless you are replacing the um, the cloth or the shoe. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not a good choice. Uh, yeah. see, uh, I I currently still allows people to buy CC with IT. ED still allows that, and I don't think they are changing it, changing it anytime sooner because a lot of um, people in the C area doesn't even have, uh, like, this legit doesn't even have a, a PayPal account or a credit card because it's not common in, in this area, those areas. No problem. Um, it might feel fulfilling for some people because it really depends. But legit, the reason to play MMORPG is playing with other players, not because because of the gears.
if you want to play like solo game, probably better to find a, a single player game that's better than the end, which there's a lot. There's like literally no reason for you to play DN as a, a single player game. No, it actually don't. Trust me. I get all my parts by opening like one box at a time. The salamander parts I'm using right now, the salamander parts in my storage and all me. And also um, the flow food parts on my arena, the, the puppy parts, the kitty parts. Yeah, I get everything just by opening one by one. Mostly because I play like too much characters, so like... So getting anything is good for me. Oh, well, really depends on like how you feel about the game. For me, I, I play this as a social game. The only reason for me to increase my gear is just to play with my friends. And also because the end game content required to be very geared. That's what the only reason why I geared. If the end game content is less demanding, I won't even be that geared. Depends on your team comp. If you already have an ice stacker, I will, I will say uh, you don't need Lestra. But if you don't have an ice stacker, then Lestra is a good replacement of your of overgear DPS. Cause uh, Lestra is about the same as like one gear DPS, like one DPS that is like almost the same gear as me. Since it's impossible for you to get that much people that, that are very geared to go into the same team. Like a lot of teams can, can actually keep here already, just that they don't have like a lot of like well scattered together. Like for the Eden team, it's because uh, most of people in Eden are whales so that they can clear BDN. If you can get my, what I mean. Like they already have like three over gear DPS, like uh actually four, four over gear DPS and plus one over gear heal healer. 
So they only need to find three more people. The tank you can find anyone. The Lustra you can find anyone. Just need to find like one extra over here DPS, which is me. So it's easier for them to clear. But for the other teams, usually like in your group of friends, there, there won't be like too many whales in the team. Like in, in your um, social area. Usually there's like one one whale per team, one or two whale per team. But for BDN you need like probably like four whales at least. Four or five foils at least, that's why. best class for me uh, if I don't have pin problems I will say I will enjoy Rina the most because Rina is very very fun to play mm, considering my pin problems I will say Abyss Walker is my second play favorite because Abyss Walker doesn't really have like um, skills that are very reliant on the very good pin Most of the, his skill can perform like normally on um, bad pin. Nah, I'm not lucky enough. Enough, and I, if I'm lucky enough, I'll get another box here. Thank you, open my box. We need to farm like four, three more on this part. Mm, yeah, hopefully, I'll get something good.
Oh, it's called Dragon Nest. Typing on Discord. Because I'm chatting with Gotcha. All those Kansas! Stop canceling me! And, and okay, it's best that I also get stuck in this room. Um, we are discussing about the VIP system, and he's saying that. I was telling him that if I if I don't play so much characters, I will be the person that spent mo most CC on this server. Then, then, then he said that. Um, then, then, then he's talking about conversions, and I and I said that I have like four characters with conversion armors. Two of them are fully. Fully geared conversions with all the wind tail and the decorations, and one with only the wing and one with only the armor. It's just some whale talk, so it's like kind of scary. Why? Why is it following the the log instead of me? Yeah, it's just some whale talk. It's actually pretty boring. Uh, cause I usually chat to a lot of people. If every time when I chat to someone, I need to hold them to a voice call, it will be very annoying. Cause they might be in their own voice chats. Which I think will make kind of make sense. Like typing is the way that you can talk to multiple people at once. More boxes, and I, I can go out. Why do I keep getting like gladiator parts? Pretty rare because considering there's like a lot of classes and not a lot of different parts and also a lot of different skills. So it's almost like impossible to get the, the, the stuff I want. And I, I'm actually pretty lucky already.
Yeah, I'm, I'm like really lucky already. <laughs> Considering like how, how many good stuff I already get. And actually I'm just farming for fun because I don't have other things to do. And I see since my gears are all my other soccer, I will probably just farm. Later, I will need to transfer my gears to my other characters. Oh, so, so this stuff really stopped me from going forward, okay. Like getting better result than most people in my first few runs already. So I, there's like nothing I can complain about. This is annoying. Two more boxes, then I'll stop for the day. Two more boxes, then I'll stop for the day. Please. How many runs I did already? Hmm. Still 70 runs before I do 200 runs for the day. <sighs> Why is farming so hard? It's not one more, it's just I, I, I like to get my inventory full before I go out and disassemble stuff. Uh, it's 1 a.m. I, I have to wake up later for PDN runs, so it doesn't really matter. And I have my off day tomorrow. So it's normal. Us. Two more box. You need two more boxes. Two more box. 
for my boss and I will call it a day. So please let me rust. No, it's not anime OP. Uh, it's actually Toho Music. I put them because it's copyright free. Because uh, I monetize my video for fun. It doesn't really earn me any money, but but I monetize them for fun. And if I don't use like copyright free music, I I will get a copyright strike, which annoys me. So. I tend to find music that's copyright free. And you get a lot of music from Japan that's copyright free. Like the music I'm using right now, I don't really like it because it's not hyped enough. I like those fast paced music, but usually those those kind of music are copyrighted. Well, some older videos use anime OP because, um, uh, because I, I wasn't like some like some of the video isn't by me, and also like some of it is like, um, how do I record it? Mm, and some of it's like before my channel can get monetized, so yeah. So I don't care about the monetization of the copyright strike before. Now I care, so no. Now it's like in must use proper songs. On my box. That's my day. Yeah, but if you uh, stream on Twitch, the copyright stuff will be muted. It's even worse. In my opinion, like the whole voice track will be muted, so it's not like it's better. One more run, then I can call it a day. Yeah, that's only 30 maps. Nah, <laughs> uh, TikTok is not the best place for game, game streams. Before I stream on Twitch, but since my, my, most of my viewers come from YouTube, so now I stream on YouTube instead.
Why are people grass grassing a plus 13 shield? <laughs> should only say grass when it's plus 16. <laughs> 60x is... Maps, yeah. this be even more annoying? Yes it can. At least it gives me a key. I'm less annoyed. But I'm still very annoyed. Now I only need one more box. Then I can rest for the day. Let me see if I can get like another box in the next run. If I can, I will just go back to town. Ugh, one more run syndrome. Ugh. Okay. Last run. If I get another box, then I do another run. If I don't get another box, then I don't do another run. Assembling stuff and then putting this on your helmet into the storage. Maybe even this. Oh, uh, never mind. I, I won't play sniper anyways. Maybe this is a sniper. Da, 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 da. Please, how is anything worth putting in? Those are the patient's words. Such stunts, he blow, and burst off with stunts. Stats are, and just open this. I lock like one more. Yeah, I lock like one more run for. She just needs. Let me see if I have anything that I can assemble. Yeah, I'm just assemble this upper body since I'm not going to use it anyways. Suffering now. I lack like one extra. Oh, it's okay. I will just go in and open the box if it's a shit box. I'll just assemble it. Okay, sure. Okay, let's see.
Leap of Trust. Leap of Trust. Mm. It's okay, I have one more chance. Ah, okay. I think I guess that's for today. So many equipment and yet didn't get what I want. But still, I will say it's pretty good enough. Though it's kind of sad that I get like two solar home. And at least I finished the, the shoe for my ring grid. Now I just need another Bubba Raid helmet, then I'm done. Okay, thanks for watching. I guess that's for today's stream. And, um, yeah, I don't think there's like much for me to say. Hope you guys have a nice day for the rest of the day and I'm going to rest for a while because I have to be in and uh, at like 7 p.m. ish. Okay, bye!